guys. Welcome to Jaybird. My name is Monica. Don't mind the noise in the background. I am doing the dishes or the running in the dishwasher. Um, for those of you who are new here, I didn't think that I could get pregnant. Um, and I have a 17 year old and a 13 year old son and we were trying to get pregnant and nothing was happening. And there was a problem with two IUDs back to back. It just messed something inside of me up and it just wasn't happening for me and then all of a sudden four years had passed and I actually got pregnant I found out it was a girl on my 37th birthday and I'm gonna let you guys kind of like see I'm gonna show you pictures of um during my pregnancy like just like how big <laughs> I actually got pretty big um but before we get into it, if you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around and maybe I can help you guys if you are just having a baby and or maybe you have a big gap between your kids' ages and we can just enjoy this together. So let me get you started with pictures and then you will see my daughter in the end for a while let me feel alive nothing to hold me back take my time just enjoy the ride i know man passing by life is good best i've ever felt get me up so in Hey guys, I had my daughter, her name is Jalen Ray, she was born at 5.59 this morning, Friday morning, and she weighed, or weighs 7 pounds, 7 ounces, and is 18 and a half inches long, and she's just sleeping. Took her hat off just for a little bit. What are you doing, honey? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you waking up? Are you waking up? Hey guys, my sons have not been to the hospital yet to meet their sister. Um, but they were on the way. Hey guys, it is almost four in the morning. I am so tired. <laughs> but I am feeding baby girl right now. I am exhausted. <laughs> but I can't wait to go home.
Okay, as you guys can see, we are home now. Um, I've had my daughter. It has been a rough week and a half or so. It's harder than I thought. Oh, you know, because my dog wakes me up in the middle of the night. Like, I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm always starving because I'm breastfeeding. She's always starving. <laughs> and, um, but anyways, so I planned to have her naturally, which I did. Um, but when you plan to have a baby naturally, <laughs> um, especially after 13 years of having your last baby, um, you kind of, you think you remember the pain, but, uh, <laughs> I, you know, they, they talk about the ring of fire and it burns, 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 just like Johnny Cash, you know, I did not, I remembered it hurt and I remembered it was like the worst pain I ever felt, but I didn't actually remember what it felt like. I remember how I described it. And I remember it was really bad. And I remember, like, once you get to that point, you have no choice but to deal with it, even if you want to back out. Like, you can't. So it's kind of like, if you make that choice, just know there's no backing out once it comes time to push. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, I did have her naturally. And I don't think I screamed so much while having a baby in my life but as soon as I was done pushing just like immediate relief and like happiness and joy you know and I got to hold her like right after and let me tell you it just makes all that pain worth it but, hold on a minute. I don't want to be crying in this video. If you guys are new here, I was told I was in early labor, which I've never been in. So I was in early labor for like a week. Because um, I was having contractions, but like I wasn't dilating. I don't know. It really makes no sense to me. But that's what I was told. And I was also told that because I was in early labor, usually by the time the baby will come they're gonna come fast so I was on top of it like any little bit of pain I would start counting and try to see like how much time in between each contraction blah 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 so anyways started around like 11 or 12 I think one night I started feeling them started counting and I think by the time it was like 1 30 because I wanted to make sure um I woke up my boyfriend and I told him, babe, it's time to go to the hospital. And he told me, no, babe, just wait till seven. <laughs> and I looked at him and I said, babe, we're going to the hospital. It's time. I'm having a baby. <laughs> we're having a baby. I'm having a baby with you and I ain't doing this by myself <laughs> and um eventually he woke up and actually realized what I was saying because he was like not awake we get to the hospital they hooked me up and everything and they're like okay yeah you're for sure gonna have this baby they waited till I was five centimeters to actually like what do you call it? They waited till I was five centimeters to actually like book me into the hospital or whatever. I'm just like not awake. Sorry. Then I got into my room and I took a strep B test or something and it didn't come back yet. So it wasn't like negative or positive. Like I just took it and we didn't think the baby would come that soon because we were thinking of having me induced like the next week. But this, so like a week later from now that I'm in the hospital right now. And anyways, so we didn't get the results back from that test. So 
they decided to hook me up and have me do the antibiotics just in case. And the lady was saying I would have to stay hooked up to this machine and allow the medicine to go for like four hours. So mind you, I'm still having contractions and I'm dilating. So I'm sitting in bed and they keep like coming in and checking and like asking me like, you know, how's your pain level, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And then like, it was crazy. Like all of a sudden, like every time I felt a contraction, like my hand was shaking and I couldn't like, I couldn't sit still. And then I started like crying and it was, it was so bad. It was just like, went from like nothing to just like horrible pain. I just had told her like that it was fine and she left the room. She's like, okay, I'll check in on you in a minute or whatever. And I ended up calling someone back and saying like, it's really bad, you know, and, and like you could tell like my voice, I was crying. And um, she came back and she was like, well, let me check you, see how dilated you are. And then when she was checking, my water broke. She broke my water. Like it, yeah, it, it was just uncomfortable. My water never breaks when I'm pregnant. And it's like the one fear I have. Like, I don't want to be in Walmart <laughs> and be that person, you know, by myself, like, and just go, uh, because <laughs> what do you do? Just walk out with it dripping. Like, I don't even know how women do that. Kudos to you for dealing with that kind of thing because I never had to. But um, anyways, <laughs> okay, so like you could just see her face completely change from like kind of calm to like all of a sudden like, okay, um, you're ready to go. And she was like calling my doctor immediately, like my OBGYN, um, everything. And like she's like, we're having a baby. We're having a baby. And she was like, and I'm like, what? <laughs> I was just like, I was just like at four or five centimeters, you know, like not that long ago. Anyways, so the thing is, is I was crying. It's not just because of pain, but I was crying because I kept staring at the clock thinking like, oh my gosh, only two hours have passed since she told me that I have to be hooked up to this thing for four hours. And I was just thinking, like, there's no way. Like, it hurts so bad. And I, for some reason, like, when you're in that situation in the hospital about to have a baby, like, you're just thinking that you have to do exactly, like, what they say for some reason. Like, that's where my mind was at. I'm like, I have to just deal with it, you know, for two more hours. And she's like, no, we're having a baby. And I was, like, just kind of, like, relieved that she said that. <laughs> then, so, like, kind of fast forward a little bit. By the time I was ready to push I started crying because it was like the pain and everything and the emotions and I just kept saying like I don't remember how <laughs> because because it's been so long and like obviously you know like how to push right but like but, but yeah okay so what she said was push with your butt use your butt and so I was pushing with my butt and like it was so hard. I said, I hurt so bad. Like, because I did not, I mean, I thought I remembered the pain. I really did. I, I tried to remember the pain for like years and years just so I would remember, you know, just, I don't know. I'm one of those people like I want to remember the pain. So like, I know what I'm dealing with if I have to do it again kind of thing. And anyways, I didn't actually remember the pain. I remember it was a lot of pain, but I don't remember how it felt. And when I say ring of fire, I don't think I've ever felt it as much as I did with this one. And I thought it was supposed to get easier. As, like the more kids you have, like you would think it would be easier just because many kids have been out that way. <laughs> Sounds so bad, but I swear it got worse. Um, but anyways, she was bigger than my boys. My boys were 6 pounds, 11 ounces, the first one. And then my my youngest. And then my middle son, or my middle child, was 6 pounds, 10 ounces. And she was 7 pounds, 7 ounces. They told me, like, breathe, breathe, breathe. At one point, I was thinking, okay, this pain is, like, almost unbearable. But either way... 
if I take a break from pushing, I'm still feeling the pain. And if I'm pushing, I'm going to feel more pain, but at least like at some point it's going to end. So I just told myself like, I don't want to, but like, I just went for it, you know? And like, I just had to make that choice. And it was like, I felt like it just couldn't get worse and kept getting worse and worse and worse. But you know, I'm not trying to scare anyone. I just realized like, that's probably not very good to say, but I, I'm really trying to be honest. Like it does hurt, but honestly, it was so worth it. Like I've had my first son naturally. It's not like I haven't done it before, but it does really like make you have a lot of respect for anyone who has had them naturally. And honestly, you should have respect for them even if they didn't have them naturally. Like you could still feel pain if you get an epidural, by the way. Um, so no matter what, you're going to be in some kind of pain. It's just to be expected. But the feeling, no matter which way you go about it, the feeling of holding the baby that you've been feeling inside you forever and just wondering like, you know, who are you going to be like? Who are you going to look like? And what's your cry going to sound like? And just like all these things and like, they're just kicking you all the time. And you just want to see those little feet, you know, you just like, it just like, it almost like in the end of your um, third trimester, it just like kills you almost like, I just want to see like, it's not even about, like, being tired of being pregnant because of the way it feels for me. Like, yeah, a little bit. But it was more of, like, I just I just want to hold my baby already, you know? Like I said in the video, or earlier in the video, she was born at 5.59. That's kind of strange. <laughs> it's like, I couldn't wait a minute longer. <laughs> um, But... Oh, and by the way, Jalen is her name. Ray is her middle name, but it flows really pretty. So I said like Jalen, I put Jalen Ray on the screen. But anyways, I just wanted to thank everyone for sticking around, waiting this long for this video. Um, I really appreciate it. And I'm so thankful for everyone who supports me on this channel if you're subscribed if you're not subscribed and you still watch my videos that really helps me too and it just means a lot like I never thought like this would go anywhere and I feel like I don't know like I felt like it's worth a shot like what's the worst that can happen like when you start YouTube you're already at the bottom like you know like, you have zero subs, zero watch time, like, zero anything. And it's just amazing because, like, really the only way you can go or direction is up. And I'm just, I don't know. It's not even about YouTube. It's just I feel like my heart is so full. And it does, like, make me feel good to know that I have good people that like to watch my videos and it makes me feel good and I just wanted to thank you guys so and if you're not subscribed and you really like this video please do me a favor and subscribe it really helps me out helps out my channel it will help out my family and I don't know I enjoy making videos but I know my I just changed my name again on my channel and I feel like I'm still trying to kind of like, I'm just like working out the kinks, I guess, for my channel. But I will say this, like, I'm not going to quit YouTube. Like, I'm not. There is no point in quitting because why would I do it for so long to get where I'm at now only to quit? No. It can only get better from here. So there's no point in quitting. So just know that I'm not going to quit, and I'm sorry that was a really long break, but whew, I needed it. And I don't know how I'm going to, like, 
how I'm going to figure out like doing videos and stuff um, with my daughter. I think maybe my best bet is just carry my phone around with me and see what happens and just record. And I will try my best to, you know, at least give you like two videos a week. I would like to give more than that. It's not hard recording footage and all that. It's not hard to get the footage. The hard part is trying to like put it all together, edit it, try to make it good. And sometimes it's just like, I don't know. I think I just need to get out of my head. Like sometimes I just want to like let you guys know what's going on and not really care so much as like how the video looks and stuff. Because I know there's people like genuine people who like genuinely watch and want to know like how I'm doing or how you know just everything like they genuinely love my channel and they probably could care less like if the video is not so smooth you know and I know that but I don't know it's just it's one of those YouTube things um anyways what else can I add she is the sweetest girl. She already, like, she was sucking her thumb at the hospital, which was really weird. I've never seen a baby do that. And then when they were trying to get her weight, they had placed her on her stomach in the little tub weigh machine thing. And she was, like, moving around, not crawling, but she it looked like she was trying. I'm not saying, like, oh, my baby's trying to crawl. But... She, she's a wiggle worm. Let's just say that. I knew she would be too. And I knew that like we are going to have our hands full. Because the first ultrasound I seen when she was really, really tiny. I was only 13 weeks and 3 days pregnant with her. And she was like hopping around, jumping around inside there. So, um, so I already knew. But... Anyways, I thank you guys so much for your support, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, hopefully sooner than later, I do have a video, I should actually post, maybe I'll just say the next video is, um, it's going to be a simple, easy way, you guys are probably going to be, like, thinking I'm really weird, but, like, I know all my cooking videos <laughs> are, like, What's this girl doing? Like, I made corn dog casserole. And then in the end, I told you guys, like, it was horrible. <laughs> so, I don't even know why I posted it. <laughs> but, uh, that's why I don't do cooking videos. Like, <laughs> but anyways, I will post a video on a, like, a easy way that I make a certain kind of, like, dessert, um, for my kids. And I do have footage for that, so that will probably be in the next video. It either will be the next video or it will be part of my next video. So stay tuned for that because they're actually really good. They're kind of like churros. Um, but anyways, stay tuned for that and see you guys in my next one. Bye. <laughs>